When Marcus Thuram, he became a real fighter. So he was a difference maker the last 15, 20 minutes on the field. He provoked in almost two penalties. He was all over Upamecano. And it's interesting to see the reaction also of Upamecano when he faces a striker forward of the almost the same physical dimensions mm. as he has. Then he struggles. And Upamecano, we shouldn't forget, he's still uh, quite young as well. Um, so now, right, right now, Bayern Munich kind of puts their faith into, the, into two center backs, Niklas Süle and, and Upamecano, that are not the most experienced one. And then Pavard was not on the field, so they had to bring in another youngster on the right side with Sanisic and, and uh, Alfonso Davis on the left side. So it's really interesting right now how they joggle um, the situation because at the end, Kimmich is the only defensive-minded midfielder uh, in that lineup from Bayern Munich. So, so I mean, you're risking quite a lot, uh, especially when you have teams and coming later on in the Champions League that will be all over you. Yeah, obviously losing veteran players at the back there. So we're looking at the lineup now, Jurgen. For good or for bad, which players stood out for you today? No, I mean Lewandowski is Lewandowski. You know, he's there when you need him, and he scored his first uh, goal of the season right away. He had many more chances. Uh, he knows that he should have done that better in the one or other circumstances, but he found his kind of master tonight in Jan Sommer. So that was fine. I, I think we should expect more from Nagpri and from from Sané. These are the. the the, the big hope for German football over the uh, up, uh, next couple of years, also going towards Qatar, they're going to the World Cup. You want more from them. You want more decisiveness. You want more drive to goal. They want more uh, uh, opportunities for them. And they haven't shown that tonight uh, uh, enough uh, because everything then lies on the shoulders in creating opportunities on uh, Thomas Müller. And, and Goretzka was quite uh, calm there as well. Um, so I, I think, I mean, they are, they're going to be okay with that tie, you know, starting the season. They didn't have a cup game last week to get a little bit of a flow, uh, but they still have a lot of work ahead. Yeah, a lot of work ahead. Before the season kicked off today, Lothar Mateus actually said that he sees Bayern's vulnerability. He mentioned that he doesn't see them as favourites and that there could be a good opportunity for other teams to take advantage this season. What are your thoughts on that comment? Yeah, I mean, Lothar in a certain way is right because, you know, if you look at the bench, you know, it's not the bench that they had last year. There's Obviously, there's no Alaba, there, there's no Martinez, uh, there's no Boateng. So there are a couple of experienced players, they're gone. Um, but if they see that kind of as a traumatic situation, they might uh, still react on the transfer market until the first, 31st of August. Um, and if not, then uh, if they have real issues during the first part of the season, they will go back to the transfer market transfer market in, in January. You know, Bayern Munich is very smart in the way they choose their, their players and choose especially their backup players. Um, so I can imagine that they get uh, busy on that side. Um, but uh, it's all going to be interesting to see um, now in the next couple of weeks if the other teams, namely uh, uh, RB Leipzig or Borussia Dortmund, understand that situation and go for it. You know, if they you know, kind of declare themselves clearly as contender for a title. Uh, and often they kind of fail in, in, kind of, in, in, in saying clearly out loud, we want to win the German championship. You know, they always say, oh, if we get into the Champions League, it would be great, you know, uh, final four, uh, top four, that would be great. No, you got to declare your goals clearly. And I think Borussia Dortmund and Leipzig have to come, come out and say clearly, we want to win the title. We want to really give uh, Bayern Munich a fight until the very end, and not only until March, when they start then to run away from everybody else. So um, it will be interesting to see what Dortmund and Leipzig are doing. Interesting what Jürgen's saying then, that the team's actually making that statement, letting them know that we're here and we mean business and we want to win the title. Seems that many have feared doing that in recent seasons, and understandably so. Well, you can get a look at the other teams. Every single match will be available across the weekend on ESPN+. Plus, and that is, of course, the case throughout the season. You'll be able to see every Bundesliga game. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.